here we have a table with a pulley. This four kilogram cart is attached to a string and the string goes over the pulley with a one kilogram box hanging underneath. There is no friction, so it's really slippery over here. So any little force pulling on this side will make the system go down. We're looking for the system's acceleration and the tension in this string. Again, we're treating the string as massless, pulley as massless, and there's no friction at the pulley. So we can say the tension is the same throughout. So let's start with the direction of acceleration. This one will go down. That one accelerates to the right. Even though that box is heavier, the system's never going to go that way. Just because this heavy cart is being held by the table, so the weight gets canceled by the normal force. You will see that after we draw the force diagram. So let's see. For the one kilogram, it's easy. You just have mg going down 10 newtons. It's touching the rope that's pulling upward. That's it. It's not touching anything else. For the card, you have to be more careful with this one. Gravity, again, goes straight down. So it's 40. It is touching the table and a string. The table is going to give it a normal force upward. There's no friction, so that's it. And then it's touching the string. The string pulls to the right. Now this acceleration is horizontal, so it really just has to do with the horizontal force. Because there is no acceleration in the vertical direction, these two forces, they cancel. The normal force cancels with the 40 newtons downward force. No acceleration in the vertical direction. So to solve our problem, we do not even need to draw these vertical forces. All we need is the horizontal force. Okay, so let's write the net force equals to ma. For the one kilogram box, the acceleration goes down, the downward force is bigger, so it's 10 minus t equals to ma. Let's see, for the 4 kilogram box, we don't have to write anything for the vertical direction. It's just the horizontal direction because the horizontal direction is the one that has the same acceleration as that one. So, in the horizontal direction, the only net force is tension. Nothing is canceling with it. So it's T equals to M times A. Again, the tension is the internal force. The tension is the force between those two boxes. The internal force would cancel, so you get 10 equals to 1 plus 4a. And this is the force equation for the whole system. So if you had to look at the whole system, you would only have 10 newtons pulling this way, 10 newtons pulling on 5 kilograms. So that's the whole system equation. So the acceleration would be 2. You plug it back into either of those two equations, you will get the tension that's uh, 8 newtons. So that's it. One mistake I sometimes see in my students' work is this. I would see people saying that this 4 kilogram is heavier than the 1 kilogram. So the system is going to accelerate to the left. So the acceleration goes that way. Therefore, they would write for the one kilogram, because the acceleration goes up, the tension will be bigger. So for the one kilogram, they would write T minus 10 equals to 1A. And for the four kilogram, they would write 4T minus T equals to 4A. Of course, this is wrong because they are mixing the vertical mg with the horizontal tension and the horizontal acceleration together. When we write force equations, we are working with vectors. Force and acceleration are vectors, so direction is very important. 
we need to be very careful not to mix things up. In this case, the 4 kilogram has a horizontal acceleration. Its acceleration has no vertical component. The vertical acceleration being zero tells us that the normal force from the table cancels with the gravity. And this vertical gravity does not contribute at all to the horizontal force equation. One more note. Over here, I added two force equations together. A vertical equation for the one kilogram box and a horizontal force equation for the four kilogram box. This is okay because the different direction is caused by the spending of the string over the pulley. These two accelerations are in a way the same because uh, it is the same string moving this way.